So the most important thing is just being aware of what the temperature is. A uh, good rule of thumb is if it's too cold for you, it's probably too cold for them. Um, doing things like putting a jacket on them, a sweater, booties, things like that can all help with, uh, help with protecting them against the elements. Yeah, so certainly you can definitely see like a more hunched posture. Sometimes they'll actually even turn around and try to go home, um, often picking up one paw off the ground because their paws are too cold is a common symptom, um, or even just a sudden change in their behavior. If all of a sudden they seem anxious or uncomfortable, they're shaking, things like that are all signs that it's getting too cold. So certainly we don't recommend keeping animals outside for extended periods of time when it's below freezing and certainly um, definitely not overnight when the temperatures can drop quite drastically. Um, if you're concerned about uh, a neighbor's pet or your own pet, you're always welcome to call a local veterinarian, contact us here at the Humane Society, we can give you advice, um, or even just talking to your neighbor, um, just getting some ideas about what's going on and how you can help. So definitely keeping your animal well groomed is always a good idea regardless of the season um, but in the winter time um, certainly if they've got mats those can be quite uncomfortable if they come, become wet especially when we're outdoors um, so keeping your animal properly groomed is always a good idea. We always worry more about our cats, our puppies and our short-coated dogs um, when we're worrying about cold weather. Um, certainly there are some breeds like Huskies or Alaskan Malamutes that are definitely built for the outdoors um, but some of your animals that are from warmer climates or don't always have like that nice thick coat we have to be more careful about. I wanted to introduce you to my friend Hazel. Um, she's been with us for a little bit. She came to us in uh, September so she's been here with us for a little bit but I did want to introduce you to her because she's such a wonderful girl. We're not sure how she ended up here um, based on her condition when she came in. She was quite thin, um, quite under socialized so uh, it's safe to assume she didn't have a the most ideal life uh, before coming to uh, here with us but since she's been here she's been doing amazing she's a really quick learner really smart girl um, and we're really excited to uh, continue working with her and um, see her her progress because she's made big great steps since she's been here at the moment uh, we do recommend an adult only home for her um, with no other cats she has seen by hazel um, just uh, based on what we've seen um, from her here. Uh, we believe that would be best for her. Um, she's great with adults. She loves meeting people. Um, she's quite a good adventurer, but she is quite energetic. Uh, that's why we don't recommend um, small kids with her just because there is a potential to get knocked over. Recently I did take her on a field trip. Um, we noticed that she's great in the car, very relaxed in the car, which is a really good sign for um, some unactive family who wants to take her on car rides. We, me and Hazel went on um, one of the trails here in Kitchener Waterloo um, and we had a great time. She's really good. She's great on a leash, learning every day, so smart. So I think those are really positive things for her and really um, look forward to seeing the, the family she goes home to. And she does come spayed, microchipped, um, and with all her vaccines um, at point of adoption. You can have a look on our website, uh, Kitchener Waterloo Humane Society, or you're more than welcome to stop in. We're happy to answer questions. We're so passionate about her. We love her so much. All of us love spending time with her. So we all know her really well and are able to answer any of your, any of your questions.